market could be improved by a lot more signage into the market because a lot of people who live in York, they're completely oblivious to this market existing because we seem to be quite hidden even though we're only behind the shambles. Things that the supermarket now sell, people used to sell on the market and that's what sort of killed off I think you know the the market traders people need to be selling something very different to what you can get in supermarkets to make it work. Buying habits and shopping habits have changed you know a lot of people shop from a laptop at home you know some people like the idea of shopping out of town where you can park your car in, un, in, in one location and go right round and buy everything under one roof because everyone's busy. I would want to move into a shop and I would have already moved into a shop but the problem is it's too much of a risk. I think there's only so much I'm going to be able to sell from the store. So I can't make it at home, there's only so much I can make. So I think the next step is to get the unit or the shop and see where that takes me. York has a rich history of trade and enterprise, but we have low start-up numbers of businesses. We've also got a rich mixture of leisure, social and retail. But retail is a very important part of this mix. Our vision is to have an assisted start-up programme to enable entrepreneurs to test their product in a supported and controlled climate on the markets of York before moving into a more permanent business premises. After all, Marks and Spencers and Morrisons started out in markets right here in Yorkshire and look at them now. My role is to look into sort of new enterprising opportunities for the voluntary sector. So one thing we're doing is looking at a pop-up shop, taking over a vacant shop and sharing the expense between 11 social enterprises. And we hope that this model of the pop-up shop will allow people to move on to the next stage and trial trading through a shop front. We're living in a society where Caring and compassion and people doing things for it because it's good is dying out and we're trying to reverse that. There's a need for something like this also to get trade back into the city and for people like ourselves that thinks that things are done not purely for profit but for the benefit of society and the benefit of the people that work there. We have the partnership, the vision, the infrastructure, the talent in our people and the will and we're ready to go. But what we don't have is the funding to kickstart the project. Our bid has the support of City of York Council, City Centre businesses, City stakeholders, business organisations and the people of York. Give York an opportunity to lead and set a template for others to follow. <laughs>